have more news on Monster Legends sneak peeks. But before we go in, I just want to say if you join my server, my Discord server, go to the role picker, then just click the heart and you will become a void army role. And this will give you much more perks than having no roles. Alright, so start to start things off at the very top. We have um, the Shellian Iguanazor um, stats. Oh, wait, that was discussed um, the last video. Alright, so we have here is the Necrolith, the Undead Maze. Right now it's Monday, and um, I'm very exci excited for Friday. I want to get this monster right here, it's a maze. So today we have the Mr. Beast and Race Breedings, Krusty and Slugazoid Pat. Then next we're gonna have the Vastus and Hardy Pats. Then we have the Quest Breeding, Pulses, which is the new Cosmic Mythic Monster. And then Nemesis Days Challenge. And right over here we have the Sp Spitfire Tails. This this guy really looks so dope. It's like um Metal Beat and Glam Head. But mixed up with the Fire Monster. Okay, so here we have the new loading screen. There's Necrolet and there's this guy. This guy is very cool. So they have like cool design monsters. I, I'm really excited about this new monsters. They, they have really cool designs except for Pulses. So this is Pulses um, story. Feel free to pause around but I'm going to keep on continuing. We have the collector's breeding. If you breed Voltaic with Pixel Lion or use Galante on one of them, you will have Nabulin. If you breed Metalhead plus Torder or use Violet on one of them, you'll get Silver Leaf. If you breed Greedy Dragon to Igersus or use Galante Jr. on one of them, you'll get Hyperia. And it goes on like Varuna plus Cryotan, or if you use Urticus on one of them, you'll get Crunchion Guard. Then Torder plus Nemestrinus equals Positron. Lagerchan plus Aorus equals Kronks. Virtue plus Bright equals Marquis de Flambe. And Mystery plus Goran equals Zizania. Oh wait, I forgot one thing. For each successful breeding, you'll get 250 maze coins. But if not successful, you'll get 75 maze coins. That's great. So here are Pulse's skills. Um, Pulsus is an earth control with freeze and high resistance skills. Frozen to death. Deals very low special damage to one enemy, applies freeze to one enemy. Friend of the cold nest, deals low earth damage to all enemies. Sugar Rush. Removes all negative status effects from itself, applies life regen to itself, requires cooldown. Nothing can kill me, deals low earth damage to all enemies, applies a shield that to itself that absorbs 50% of the damage requires cooldown this is a 50% um, damage block it's different from a 50% life shield winter hibernation applies a 50% life shield to itself heals itself by 50% applies a 50% damage block to itself requires cooldown that's phenomenal it's like you're not gonna die Unless you have a reverse healing, thing, you're gonna die there. Dark and Dump. This more than special damage to one enemy. Applies freeze to one enemy. Applies freeze to one enemy. Okay, so it's applies freeze twice to one enemy. And applies dark PJ to itself requires cooldown. If you don't know what the applies freeze twice to one enemy mechanic. Or applies stun twice to one or to all enemies. It, it's just like having a precision. But it doesn't double the effect. For example, if you thought apply freeze to twice to one enemy, it means the enemy is gonna freeze twice. No, it's only gonna if freeze. It's only gonna freeze once. It's only gonna lose one turn. But applying freeze twice is just to make sure it won't miss. Yeah, it's kind of a weird mechanic when you have the precision already. Blocks worse than mint blocks all damage except light element to itself heals all ally by 30% This is good since all of the What is this called element will be blocked except light and light isn't even strong against earth Plus heals all allies by 30% which is great 
Frozen Dreams. Do slow special damage to all enemy supplies. Freeze to all enemies. AoE freeze. There we go. Insect Blizzard. This is the special attack. This moderate special damage to all enemies. Applies Mega Freeze to all enemies. And applies 50% life shield to itself. Mega Freeze to all enemies. We have the Missile Challenge. Feel free to pause around. Because I'm not. I'm just going to keep on continuing. We have the Cosmic Era. I don't know who this guy is. He's new. He doesn't look like um this guy right here. He doesn't look like him that much. We're missing the red cape. And this guy's colored white instead of Oh wait, I said the red cape now. Yep, it's him. <laughs> it's him. I'm sorry. And we're gonna be having the smuggler's cave. This is a new system feature update. I don't know what it does. But I'm very excited for this one. I hope it's not like the the cave back then where you choose one door out of four doors and if you choose correctly you'll get the prize and go to move on. But if you don't choose the right door, you'll lose all your stuff. Alright. So this is pulses. At rank zero his uh hardened, at rank one is tough. In the trying trees, a status caster, 50% damage block output. Yeah, kind of ugly design. <laughs> so here is the undead maze. So here's Necrolit. Feel free to pause around. I'm just gonna say what he can do. He's a sport monster just like um, Lone Rad and um, Rotten. He can revive his allies and... Give them extra turns, damage boost, or triple damage. He can also steal life and applies reverse healing to a single enemy. Alright, at rank 0 is immune to bleed. At rank 1 is immune to immediate death like Lone Rad. But I don't think this is area effect, the immune to death. And at rank 3, he becomes status caster gaining life regen at the start of the battle. Alright. And here is Pulses. Feel free to pause around. But we already discussed his... um. We already discussed his trait. Here is capitalized breeding. I'm so excited for this one because I have Bella Baal and Lord Moltus so I can get Soul Hugger. For every successful breeding, you'll get one Tails token and plus 100 heroic orbs. But not, if not successful, you'll get still one Tails token and 15 heroic orbs. And last but not least, we have the Renata Fraternity event. In this special fraternity team, this happens like, um, this is an every update where if people buy gems pack, they can reward their teammates. Everyone will get rewarded. But not gems. You can choose if you want to reward all your teams with war coins or medical cell. But it looks like we have Renata. A new mo cosmic medic, Renata. Hmm. We'll keep on checking Renata. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. Please leave a like and subscribe. If you want to see more, join our Discord. And I hope you all enjoyed. Goodbye.